my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. And I'm Tracy from Results with Tracy. And we want to welcome you to Parrot Shop Chef. Chef. By the way, before we go on, this is Iluka, the ever so special cockatiel. And she's perfect for today's episode because we're making some chop for smaller birds. For those of you new to our channel in this episode, we're specialized in making chop for your parrot, but, but, if you don't know anything about parrots and you don't have a bird, stick with us because we change one thing about it and then it turns into an amazing meal for you. Just remember that the reason we're doing this is because you always wanna keep your birds on as healthy a diet as possible. And although I have Marlene's signature blend out there, the most important thing to feed your birds is real vegetables, real greens, and real fruit, a little bit of fruit, more greens than fruit. So let's get right to it. What are we making today, Tracy? Okay, so today we're gonna make veggie stuffed peppers. Ooh. So we're also gonna make the same thing without the pepper along with it. So let's get right to it. What, 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 what? it looks like you, you already chopped everything here. I got a little chop heavy. So today we're going to be using these ingredients, which are broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, zucchini, a oh. mix of fresh basil, dill, tarragon, and oregano, and of course, the peppers. And we have, obviously, orange and red peppers, but you can use any color pepper that you prefer. They're not different peppers, they're just different. Are you guys serious? Shut up. So while Marlene revels in that, we're gonna chop up our spinach. No particular order, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna make sure we chop, 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 chop more so than we do in the other episodes because those birds are a little bit big. And we've already washed everything, I should have done that. This is chopped broccoli. What is that? It's technically called cauliflower rice, but it's just riced cauliflower. What does it mean that it's rice? It's been put into most likely a food processor and like grated up to small pieces. To so it's just chopped? That too. Okay. Now we have our herbs, basil, dill, tarragon, oregano. Let's add those in. You know what I like? I like the contrast. Like if you would have chosen a green pepper, it would have been like an all green meal, like Kermit the Frog, but. I like color. I like color too, and I think the birds like a little bit of color, to be honest with you. We gotta make it enticing and variety. This is, I'm hungry. And here are our peppers. We, or I, have chosen to cut them this way for ease for the little birdies. Birds could eat the seeds, by the way, if you would have left them in. Just not the stem, guys. Oh, you wanna stuff them? Yeah, how'd you know? Okay, okay. so let's get- Ooh, I've let's... never stuffed anything before. And you know that stuff on Thanksgiving that this they call the stuffing? We never had that because we weren't American enough for that stuff, so. Not my favorite. See, this is the part of cooking I like, the aesthetic part. Let me do an orange one. Okay. It's like a boat. Yeah. Randall likes it. That's it. This is it. It's super simple and oh super my God, quick. This is so simple for the birds, guys. It's super fast and super quick. Okay, wait, but you're gonna do something else and it's gonna be like a meal for us, right? Okay, so while she does that, just real quick, we obviously gotta feed it to the birdies. Let's see how they feel about it. like an exciting meal, appetizer, something for ourselves. All right, so we are going to bake them, Oh. but add some egg, egg white. This is totally a personal choice, but we have some dairy-free vegan ricotta. So you can add whatever cheese you want. You can't go wrong, just pick your favorite. It's interesting that you chose a vegan cheese, but eggs. I know, it's so good. This, this Kite Hill ricotta, so good. It's baked. my my Not favorite. Not sponsored. 
Yeah, not sponsored. sponsored. For those of you who are vegan. So I haven't personally tried it, but there's an egg substitute. It's plant-based. They use mung bean and turmeric. It's called oh. Just Egg. Are we gonna basically make kind of like a stir fry now or? No, we're gonna add the egg. We're gonna add the cheese to the mix. But okay. We'll take a little more out for the birds. Oh, and then yeah. we're gonna stuff it in the pepper and put it in our preheated oven and bake it at 425 for 30 minutes. It's a success. I like to take three eggs and only use one of them, the whole egg, and then the other two egg whites. I'm good at cracking eggs. Okay, are you good at separating the eggs? And the no, eggs? I've never done that in my life. I have no idea how to do that. Really? So let me show Why? you. Okay. okay. I've never done this before. Like this. Then okay. you see it. You slowly, and then you're just gonna. What? The egg white comes out, and you just do it like that until you get it off. I'm a little nervous. I never, I always, okay. oh, 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 oh. Okay. Now what? Now, yeah, you just, you see there's still some white. Oh my God. So you can use the shell to chop it. Oh, that's you know? white. You can use the shell um, to cut. That doesn't look That good. works too. All right. And now you just put it in here. Okay. And then we can the shell too. All right. It's very delicate. like Marlene and allergic to peppers. If you have a muffin pan, you can put the mixture into the muffin pan, but- We don't have a muffin pan. There is no muffin pan. Because I've never had a muffin in my Residing. life. Residing. Doesn't even sound good to me. So, next best thing, we had some tin foil. So, I'm gonna make a round situation. Oh, we're we stuffing this too? We lined our baking tin with parchment paper. I would say 30 minutes, but you want to check it at 30, and if you have to go another five minutes, you would kind of check this one like a cake. You'd put a toothpick in, pull it out, make sure everything's cooked, and if it's any part of the filling left on the toothpick, cook it longer. Oh, I thought I filled that up to the top. For some reason, it looks a lot emptier right now. Yeah, it's a cooking show. I had one prepared. Oh, wow, this looks like, you know, when you go to Starbucks and you order, you order it out. Egg white bites. Is that that? See? Smells like a quiche. It's kind of a quiche. So, now I'm gonna try this for you, know, you guys. One day we're gonna make something that you don't like, that you're not allergic to, well, and I'm gonna force you to eat it. <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. I need salt. This is, why didn't I get a knife? Cause you don't need it. It tastes like that kugel. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that kugel we made <laughs> back in the day. I could put a little salt on it. But I am so a, I'm a salt addict. I really like that. <laughs> Our veggie stuffed peppers. Yeah, they were really good. I really, I really like, okay. I thought I wouldn't like it. I, I liked it. I thought it needed salt, then I realized I didn't, and now I am hungry and want more. Stay tuned for next week when we make, what are we making next week? His strawberry spinach salad. Ooh, strawberry spinach salad. I order that like every Wednesday and every Saturday I eat a strawberry spinach salad. This one's gonna be a little bit different than you probably think, but it's gonna be so good. What are we gonna turn it into? You'll have to wait and see. Ah! I wanna wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, oh, I can't wait. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Watching this video means to me that you guys really care about how to feed your birds healthy and you know what if you kind of follow what we're doing you're gonna get a lot healthier yourself i know for a fact from this one like yeah and i was already pretty pretty specific about what i eat but she helped me tremendously so if you want to check out more of her work don't forget to look for results with tracy on instagram thank you guys so much for watching and let us know what you want us to make and put it in the comments below. Oh yeah, and also what your bird likes. And also, yeah. if you've tried previous recipes, go back and watch those videos. We wanna know if you tried it, if you liked it, you could comment on that video, comment on this video. We're both gonna be looking out. Tracy's gonna answer some comments be, as well. Right, Tracy? Yeah, be nice if you didn't like it. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you.
Visual Magic Podcast.